Well, BJ Van is in Scotland. We are in Oban. I regrettably didn't film any of the journey here, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. I left my gimbal and my GoPro in the back of the van. I just wanted to keep moving, but it was stunning through the highlands. So right now we are, look at that. We are in a car park just outside Oban. If you really want to park up in this car park, because that view is absolutely stunning. And we want to stay here for the night, but we think, looking at a few reviews from other people that have stayed here, we might get turfed out. So we're going to sort the van out while we're in this car park, sort of get it ready to stay in, take the dogs for a runabout. And then there's like a little spot by the beach further down the side of the road. So once we sort the van out, we'll go and park up there. But I'll, uh, yeah, it's the first night in the van. I can't wait. I'll just show you around where we're staying. dark and it started to rain i've just left deb sorting the van out while i uh, run the girls down for a walk but i'm wondering if we can get away staying here because it is lush look at that there's definitely uh worse places to be waking up but i want to get these girls for a run round and then we'll uh do a little van tour i suppose once it's all ready to go Sweet. Right, we're parked up for the night. Deb cooked us a pizza. We had a, uh, <laughs> we had a bit of an issue with Major the pizza. Issue. Let me, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's give you a tour of van life for the first night, shall we? How are you finding it? <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, we're getting used to the oven. Because uh, the flame of the oven is obviously at the back and we put this pizza low down. It, uh, <laughs> the flame is like back there somewhere. So we might have burned the, burnt the pizza a little bit, but it's fine. Sky has found her <laughs> her favourite spot. I think we might be subjected to the, the cushions, the seating area, which actually is actually really comfortable. And Sky might end up with the, the bed. Molly, Mama Bear, is down here. Quiet, crashed right out. So yeah, so far it's going right. We, uh, we've actually moved spots from what we said earlier. We were in that car park earlier where I walked the dogs, but you looked at a, uh, a forum, didn't you? The and Park for Night app. The park, the park for Night app. And apparently there's a lady that comes around in the middle of the night and kicks us off. And actually, where we are now is just down the road from it. It's like just on the side of the road. And apparently, uh, well, there's actually some signs down the road that says no camping overnight, no parking overnight. But we've argued that we're about 100 yards from those signs. So I'm the not going to bother. They're not here. They're not here. So we're not extra right, signs. So we're no, staying here for the night. other side of the bus stop. <laughs> So we're gonna eat our pizza, we're gonna crash out for the night and then in the morning we'll show you where we're parked. But uh, what else has changed? I made some makeshift curtains, I have some towels. Oh, camera's on my own. So I just got those magnets from my drawers and stuck them up here. So some uh, towels to some curtains because the curtains I ordered don't actually fit. And then it's actually quite cool. From outside the van, it looks like a van. You could never tell anyone's in here. So it's stealth camping, it's what you want. Making the most of my pop-up socket. Got my laptop on charge, I'm actually editing. I'm actually editing the uh, the episode one of the Scotland trip, so the, the video of us coming up here. So hopefully that's already out before you got to this. Yep, as Deb mentions, mount, got these from Ikea. Mounts and hooks on the wall, just trying to make the van more useful, more user-friendly, as we say. But um, look at that dog. Just look at it. Do you think she's comfy? You're unbelievable. Unbelievable. I've ran up the trimmer boiler. Do you know what? I've ran up the, uh, the hot water and it was hot in what? five minutes wasn't it mm. five ten minutes and you couldn't run you couldn't hold your hand under that water so that's really good i haven't got the heating run at the minute because the cooker has just heated up the whole van really nicely mm -hmm. so it's lovely and warm in here but yeah we're going to crash out now and then in the morning i'll uh we'll take dogs out and i'll show you where we've parked up so and let you know if we're still alive and gas ourselves out oh yeah that's the other thing i actually went and bought i've got this like carbon monoxide and smoke detector i that here but i went and bought another one from home base earlier and actually mounted it in the cupboard itself because I was I was just so worried about carbon monoxide and leaks. So got two carbon monoxide detectors in the van. So if we're still alive, I'll uh, I'll let you know where we're parked in the morning and, and we'll we haven't been kicked off. And we haven't been kicked out. I don't really care if we've been kicked off. 
but that'd be mm -hmm. fine. I'd <laughs> be fine to get camera out so someone kicks us out when you were, you were, that'll be in the video. So yeah, cool. It's nice, it's nice. It's cozy in here, it's lovely. So we'll crash out and we'll show you where we're parked in the morning. See you in the morning. How did you sleep? Well. I can't Look at this. This is a nice view from the van window. <laughs> if Hedge wasn't there. So we overslept. We obviously slept quite well because it's like 10 o'clock. So uh, yeah, but it's a nice day. And uh, the van kept lovely and warm. That tree in here is awesome, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with it. So we're going to get the dogs fed and then we'll go for one day and show you where we're parked. But overall, a great night's sleep for the uh, first night in the van. Would you agree? Yeah, definitely. This is where we parked last night, literally on the side of the road, next to these houses. And uh, there's a little gateway over here, which takes us to the beach, so. We'll just ignore this sign. <laughs> Come on, girls. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? I've been a bit useless with my filming so far on the, this part of the trip. I think I'm so used to like filming bits and pieces of like me putting stuff on the van and working on the van, it's quite easy. So we'll see how we go filming a bit of a travel vlog, but I, uh, I really want like a drone or something because a drone here would be amazing. So over the next uh, few months, I might do some investing and we'll see if my videos, my travel videos get a little bit better, but yeah. I need to make this place look better on camera because I don't think I'm doing it any justice at the moment. But we're going to get these girls walked, get back to the van, have, have a cup of tea, and then I think we're going to be heading north towards sort of Fort William and Malague. So yeah, I'll uh, let's have a cup of tea and we'll go from there. Yeah. We got to Fort William, been into Marston, it's got some stocks and some, some stocks, some supplies for the next couple of days. We're gonna go over to Marston's and fill the tanks up with water. But we just went to a pub. I should have filmed this really, I'm terrible at filming this trip. But um there's a guy that recommended like this this little private not it's not private is it? It's like a little car park on the side of Ben Nevis so we can park up for the night and we can take dogs for a really good walk. So Hopefully, what's the time now? It's like half four, so by the time we get there, park up. But I'll film it. I'll get the GoPro out and I'll film like, the journey there. So, But it's right on the side of Ben Nevis, so it should be good. Hopefully, it'll be a bit of a more of a private park up in comparison to last night, which was literally on the side of the road. So, it was a nice spot though. It was nice, it was nice. Well, um, let's fill up with some water and get to this spot. Hopefully, hopefully, it's decent if and we, we don't get kicked off. Yeah. Apparently Morrison is a good place to fill up with water, so let's do that.
so I filmed that whole little trip here from Fort William. Hopefully my editing does it justice, but it's we went over like three three ton bridges because obviously uh, obviously my van is much less than three ton. My argument is it was a tiny little bridge. Half the van was on it at a time, so it's a ton and a half. It's fine, but look, we're like in this car park. And look, it's all around us, just hills and trees. So the guy in the pub uh, recommended this walk. So I hope we can stay here. I mean, it's like miles out of the way from anywhere. So look at that. Look at that. This is what we're next to. Right, so we're going to do this walk and then uh, pack up, I suppose, but well, not pack up but pack in for the night this is where we are steel gorge and waterfall that oh, looks lovely we are literally next to ben nevis look there's ben nevis you are here right so we're going to do this walk and then uh i think we'll probably call it the end of this part of the scotland trip and then we'll um we'll carry on tomorrow so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll include this walk in the ending of this video and then I'll uh, include the nighttime bit in the morning in the next video. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with more of my van life action. So yeah, cool. See you in the next one.